Hey everyone, today we're going to go over that great classic gospel hymn, Where Could I Go But To The Lord. This is on page 44 of gospel book number 3, and you can find the link to book number 3 as well as my other books in the description below. The song was written by J.B. Coates in 1940, and the first recording and first release was by the Harmoniers Quartet in 1946. It's been performed by many artists over the years, including Roy Acuff, Tennessee Ernie Ford, the Stanley Brothers, Emmy Lou Harris, Glenn Campbell, Elvis Presley, and many others. So stick around after the performance for my tutorial, and let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the chords. I played this song using the chords from the key of E to fit my voice. However, I do capo it up on uh, the first capo, which puts it in the key of the singing key of F. So the chords that I'm using in this are going to be E, E7, there's going to be an A, It's going to be an A 7th, there's a B bar chord, and there's a B 7th, there's an F sharp 7th. Now the tempo can be anything you want and is always a variable, but for this video I'm trying to stay around 80 to 82 beats per minute, kind of slow, uh, we'll play what you feel is right. 
And the, the time signature for this is, is a 4-4 time signature, which just simply means for rhythm, rhythm guitar, you usually try to hit the main bass notes on the down strum and of the 1 and the 3 beat, and the chords on the up or the 2 and the 4 beat. But it can vary based on your pattern. So the strum pattern for this song is generally a down, down, up, down, up, down, it's kind of a 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and... Uh, but there can be other inflections during the performance. It's a gospel song, so there's a lot of feel in it. So you're not going to be robotic and, and too rhythmic, but, uh, but don't get out of hand and, and go crazy. Try to keep it to a, a steady tempo. Okay, let's talk about the intro and the breaks and the ending. Okay. Now, intros are typically a means to introduce your audience to the song by establishing a volume, a rhythmic feel, or a tempo, and a, and a key that is about to be sung in. Uh, this helps the performer get ready to sing and, and make any adjustments to volume or tempo, and it gives the audience a clue as to what they're about to hear. And depending on the song, you can usually look to the last line of a verse or chorus chords to find an acceptable intro, or you can just strum the first chord once or even just come in singing and playing. It's up to you. Now let's talk about that intro and, the, and any breaks or endings. Um, for this intro, I'm basically going uh, to the E chord. <laughs> Then I'm taking the E chord and I'm lifting up my ring finger and I'm going up one, two, four more frets, okay? Uh, so keeping it keeping your E chord in your head and just lifting your ring finger really helps you to go. Now right now my index finger's on that dot fret, which is gonna be if you're capoed on the first one, it's gonna be four up. And then my middle finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the uh, fifth string, index finger on the third string of the fourth fret. So, and then I'm coming down two frets for this finger, and one fret for this finger, the, the ring finger. I'm switching my fingers from the middle finger. that so my ring finger is going to be on the fifth string of the fourth fret and my index finger is now on the second fret of the third string so the hardest part is this transition from a but slowly I'm going and then back down to the E so B7, back to the E, and then the A7, back to the E, and then the B. Okay? Okay, so the main riff comes from the last line of the chorus. And here I'm trying to recreate the piano riff for the guitar. Now, for any breaks or the endings, there's no breaks in this song. Unless you want to put one in there, it's up to you. You're the arranger. For the ending, he's doing the and he hits the A7. Slows it down a little bit. So it's kind of a, a mixture of the intro uh, and the chorus, the line, last line of the chorus, but you just take that part out and... Instead of going to the E, you go to the A7. <clears throat> Real gospel-y. Uh, for, for performance flair, uh, for a solo acoustic guitar, it's hard to recreate that gospel piano and choir. So try to keep it simple at first and, and concentrate on the rhythm and the vocals and the solid tempo. And, and feel free to add some inflections and syncopations to give life to your rhythm playing. But keep it under control. The, the same goes for any hammer-ons or pull-offs you might want to include. Like for example, I'll put the uh, the hammer-on on the on the, the uh, third string of the first fret on the E chord, and then while I'm strumming it, and then I'll I'll roll down to that A with my middle finger. I'm 
pulling on that with an E minor, kind of like pulling, making it, pulling it to the major. Okay, that's the pull off I'm using and hammer on. So. doing there is I'm hitting that B and jump into the B7. You can just do that B7 both time if you want, if it's easier. But this gives you kind of the, I'm trying to emulate the piano playing. Um, Also remember to use your dynamics in the song to create a bit of contrast from the chorus uh, to the verse. It uh, doesn't mean to be too drastic uh, and you don't want to appear like you've stopped playing, but merely giving room for the vocals or the message to stand out. And there's also a use of slight body striking percussiveness from the guitar body if that's something you're comfortable doing with your right hand, and then using the muting with both hands. So when you're playing and you're singing, I know it's it's you want to concentrate on the vocals and make sure those are good. That's why it's it's very important to keep it simple as possible. But eventually, if you practice long enough, mm, here's what you're doing. It's kind of a lazy sweep. You just really want to feel it, not just. Just get into the mood, move your hips a little bit if you need to. I also put the suspended on the E, bring my pinky down here uh, on the third uh, string of the second fret. So you can put that in. cheaper way of, uh, of getting that F sharp in there if you don't want to put the core. heard me mute uh, and um, of course the uh... now if you hit this by itself they're pretty cool by themselves you're basically trying to get those those top uh, these three that helps you and uh, hopes you hope you learn this song it's a it's a good uh, gospel feel uh, take your time with it and just gonna get this best thing to do would probably be start doing this hmm, to get that feel if you can get that intro you've got the song so work on that, and uh, we'll see you next week. Hey, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed Where Could I Go But To The Lord, you're going to love book number three. 
It's an electronic PDF packed with chords and lyrics, perfect for your iPad or your phone, and it's easy to print. Check out the link in the description to get this book and explore all four of my gospel books. And don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting content, and we'll see you in the next video.